Good day everyone, my name is Alex. Today is day 22 in our Names of Jesus Advent series. The name for today is Jesus is the Messiah. Let us read the passage together. The passage is Luke chapter 24 verse 26. Wasn't it necessary for the Messiah to suffer these things and enter into his glory? The context of the passage is, it is resurrection morning. Two disciples are walking to the village of Emmaus, talking amongst themselves. Jesus comes next to them, but they do not recognize him. Their idea of a Messiah was a kind of military leader that would lead the Israelites to triumph. In verses 19 to 21, they say about Jesus, Our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we were hoping that he was the one who was about to redeem Israel. Jesus says to them, How foolish you are, and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Wasn't it necessary for the Messiah to suffer these things and enter into his glory? This is clear from the Old Testament. In Isaiah 53.6, it is written, We all went astray like sheep. We all have turned to our own way, and the Lord has punished him for the iniquity of us all. And yes, I was very tempted to start seeing Colin Buchanan at this point. But the point is, Jesus must suffer in order to enter God's glory. And by doing so, He takes the punishment for our sins and allows us to be one with God. For many Israelites, their expectation of a Messiah that would bring about military victory caused them to miss out on seeing Jesus as the real Messiah. And today, this is what we will reflect on. What are our expectations of Jesus Do we expect him to be someone that will bring about material comforts, wealth, health? Do we expect all our problems to be solved if we believed in him? If these are our expectations, then we will miss out on seeing and understanding what Jesus has come to do, which is to die for our sins so that we can be reconciled with God. So let us fix our eyes and our hearts on who Jesus the Messiah is, on who he says he is, and what the Bible says that he has come to do. Let us pray our Advent prayer together. Everlasting Father, you who were invisible became visible. God became man. Eternity entered time. In our darkness and wandering, Jesus came and brought hope. With grateful hearts, we praise you and turn again to you, our source of joy and life. Restore us, renew us, fill us with your hope as our futures are secure in you. In the name of your Son and by your Spirit, Amen.